Well, here's our Ferris wheel and the loading platform. If the diameter of the Ferris wheel is 15 meters, that means its radius is seven and a half. And we load three meters above the ground. So the center line of that Ferris wheel is going to be 10 and a half feet above the ground. That is also our vertical displacement. Displacement equals 10.5. Our amplitude is going to be seven and a half. Because our height above and below the center line ranges from down here at the bottom, that would be a negative seven and a half, and up here would be a positive seven and a half. Okay, the period will equal 10 because it takes 10 minutes to make one revolution. So it takes 10 minutes to make one complete cycle. All right, here we go. So our function is going to equal a, as a matter of fact, it's going to be negative a, cosine of b times t plus c. Oh, not plus c. They use plus d for the vertical. Plus d. So this is d, vertical displacement. Amplitude is A. We're going to use cosine and make it negative out here because we're starting at the bottom of the cycle, if you want to think of it that way. Okay. B is going to equal 2 pi divided by the period. So that gives us 2 pi over 10, which simplifies down to pi over 5. So our function for the height of that car on the Ferris wheel is the opposite of 7.5 times the cosine of pi over 5 times t plus 10.5. There you go.